Local news for Tuesday the 31st of January. Feedback on the proposed bird park in Carleton closes today. In 2016, Carleton District Council purchased two adjoining properties on Frederick and Charles Streets to create a local neighbourhood park in the southern part of town. The park may include things such as a children's playground as well as seating and shade areas. The North Island Waterway Challenge was held in Turangi over the weekend. After winning the four-person teams event last year, Carleton's four-person volunteer fire brigade team came in second by just two points, with the two-person team coming in fifth. The next event will be held in Waipawa in a fortnight. A petition calling for better toilet access for people who are pregnant or suffer from disabilities will be presented to MP Trevor Mallard today. The petition has been signed by dozens in Wairarapa and was the brainchild of a group of children, including a Wairarapa boy who suffers from the autoimmune disease Crohn's at a recent camp at El Rancho. Fifteen states in America have now made it illegal to deny sufferers access to toilets, including employee bathrooms, many of which require immediate use. And in sports, a successful weekend for the giant softball teams. The Presidents played railways and came away with a 14-4 win, while the Prem 3 team won by default after travelling all the way to Wainui Yamata to find they only had seven players. The under-15s went down 15-0 in their first loss of the season, and the women went down 19-11 to Stokes Valley. Good morning. For Local News, I'm Brent Gear.